Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning to my channel. I am Valerie Malone, personal development coach and motivational speaker. Today we're going to talk about, um, actually today I am going to give you guys four tips how to better your relationship. So I get um, a lot of questions asked about relationship. I've done a tons of video about relationship, how to better your relationship, uh, what relationship is, how to start a relationship, and um, because you know, everybody's in a different stage of their relationship. Everybody's different. So I've done a, a lot of videos on a relationship, but today, um, I decided to just make a quick video and give you guys a four tips that, um, you should really apply to your relationship, whether you're, um, uh, thinking about getting into a relationship, whether you're in a relationship with somebody for a little bit of a time, um, and thinking about taking it to the next level and, um, making it serious, whether you with somebody for a while that you're trying to move in or trying to uh, go to the next level and get engaged and uh, planning to marry, or more importantly, you are married and been together for a while and the relationship is there, but it's not going anywhere. You guys are with each other because you're so used to each other. So that's why um, I made this video to give you guys a fourth tip um, for you guys to apply in your relationship or at least have in mind when you're deciding to go uh, and start a relationship, it will definitely help you um, help a lot of people. I work with hundreds and hundreds of, hundreds of people uh, when it comes to relationship. So all my um, ideas and experience coming not only from me, but as well as from people that I have worked with and as well as I travel around the world, I study human behavior. I know why we do what we do, what the human do, what they do. So I combine all of that together to make the best um, tips and give you the best advice for you to apply in your relationship and hopefully they will help you that you can take your relationship to a next level. The reason I'm doing uh, a relationship video today is that we are having a live Facebook live and my face uh, relationship group. So if you guys haven't joined my relationship group on Facebook, you can do so. And every Wednesday um, at 3 Eastern time, I'm live on there and you can, guys can ask me any question about the relationship and I will give you guys an answer. So that's happening every Wednesday um, at 3 Eastern time. So that's why I decided to do this video because in a little bit, we're going to be uh, live on a Facebook group uh, and it's, uh, it's every Wednesday. So first tip to better your relationship. Tip number one, get respect from each other. That is the most important thing that you can do when it comes to relationship. Um, like I said, whether you're thinking about going in a relationship, whether you're already in a relationship, whether you're serious with somebody or whether you are married for a long time and you guys are together. It is very, very important to have respect for each other. And how do you gain the respect in a relationship? The one way to gain really, uh, respect in a relationship is to respect yourself, to know exactly what you want, to know what your likes are and what your dislikes are. Once you figure that out, once you complete with yourself, once you respect yourself, once you understand yourself, your partner will look at you the same way and will understand you and will respect you. So in order for you to get a respect from a relationship, you have to know everything about yourself. You cannot be unsure of, you cannot um, be wishy-washy when it comes to relationship. You have to be sure of what you want. That doesn't mean it works every time because every human being look different. They think different. So in order for you to get a respect and, and you know what you like and dislikes are, first of all, you have to communicate with the person that you're going with. Once you communicate, either they're going to like you, they like the way you are or not. Once that's determined, then you can take it from there. And the respect comes in because they respect what you like. They respect who you are. They respect that you have your mind of your own and doing your own thing and vice versa. So that's one thing that you have to start when you're thinking about going in a relationship or when you are in a relationship or you've been in a relationship for a while that you forgot to actually think about your partner and say that, you know, this is why I liked uh, him or her in the first place. Remind yourself. And, and if that person is losing their personality, you have to remind them. You have to help them and say, we're in a relationship. I like you the way you are. I want you to have your own mentality, your own needs, your own like and dislike. You don't have to always do what I'm asking you to do or what I want you to do. 
That's what gives each other respect. As a human, we have to respect each other's opinion, each other's look, each other's like and dislikes. Sometimes we agree to disagree, but that doesn't mean that we have to have our own mind when it comes to relationship. So that's tip number one that you can apply when you're going to a relationship. Now, tip number two is very, very important. Be into the details. In today's society, and I always say that I think I'm known for uh, complaining about this digital world, but um, it's, a, it's the new norm and we're getting used to it now. Um, it's, it's very important, guys, to be in a detail. When you go out with somebody, when you're in a relationship with somebody, when you're married with somebody, you have to get to know that person. You have to spend time and get to know that person. The minute that you decide to get married, the minute that you decide to be in a relationship, the minute that you decide to go out with somebody, you have an obligation to fulfill. And that is to know about your partner. Know what they like, know what they don't like, know what their hobbies are, know everything about them. That makes relationships so much easier. A lot of people out there lacking that. A lot of people go out there and, and they're spending time with their uh, loved ones, they spend time with their wife. Well, wife is not really because you know people are married, but sometimes they, even they forget. Um, if you're dating somebody and if you're going out with somebody, if you're um, engaged with somebody and you can, they actually have a game. You ask question about them and they don't know. They're like, I don't know, I don't know. And that is really, really bad. In order to have a good relationship, in order to better your relationship, learn everything that's there about your partner. That makes your job so much easier because then you can actually treat them knowing that what they like and what they dislike. That makes your job easy. And a lot of people forget to do that. A lot of people just go in a relationship, they spend a lot of time together, but they really don't know a lot about each other. I've known people that have been together for four or five years. And if I ask them questions about each other, they really don't know. They're like, I don't know, or uh, maybe, I guess, I think. Please don't do that. In a relationship, the minute you enter, you have an obligation. Now, if you're a person that you don't want to be in a relationship, and you have commitment problem, don't start something. Don't start something you can't finish. Don't give a false hope to the other person that you're starting with and you're in your head saying that I don't wanna be in a relationship, but you're spending time with that person and that other person thinking that, oh, you know, I find this guy or girl, I'm gonna be with them for a while, this, but you, you're sending a wrong signals to them. So be very clear. Be into the detail, communicate clearly. If you're a person that you don't want to take a relationship seriously or you don't want to be in a relationship, you need to say that to the person you're with the beginning, at the beginning. You don't have to wait and waste somebody time for so many years or so many months and even weeks and then, oh, it didn't work out or something to that effect. So if you know what you want and you go in a relationship and learn about the person that you're going with and make your relationship so much, so much easier. And if you're in a relationship for a while, and if you're married, and some people, some couple forget, they've been married for so long, they get too comfortable. They get too comfortable in a relationship and they forget. They assume a lot. They assume that, oh, I, ass I, I thought he, or I thought she. No, please don't assume. No, because people change. As your age change, your look change, uh, your personality changes, your mentality changes, you look at it stuff differently. So it's important to keep up with that. So that's why a lot of marriage break because people get too comfortable and they say, well, I know how we've been married. It's a famous saying that people say we've been married for 20 years. We've been married for 30 years. So what, what does that mean? Nothing. It means that you have to get to know each other every single day because time changes, people changes. You, you don't flatter yourself thinking that we've been married for 30 years, we know each other, we know everything about each other, and that's it. That's it. Well, if you know each other, you know, then how come your wife or your husband looked a certain way 20 years ago and looked this way now? If the look change, I'm pretty sure the mentality change as well. So it's very important to be in the detail. Pay attention to the detail of the person you're going out with or the person that you're with. It will better your relationship hundred times. That's number two. Number three, don't give up. 
don't give up in a relationship. A lot of people, especially in today's society, because it's so easy, it's so easy to find people. All you have to do is swipe right or left on your, on your phone and you find somebody just like that. People are out there, they're going with people that they don't even know. These apps are out there. People, you don't even have to leave the house and you can find somebody. So it's very easy to find somebody. And then that becoming, a lot of people are not taking the relationship that has a value that seriously. And then they break up over stupidest thing. They break up over um, argument. They break up over financial stuff. They break up uh, over health. They break up over things that is really, really uh, silly. So it's very important to remind yourself. Yeah, you can go with somebody. You can swipe your phone and so you can meet somebody. You can um, hide your cheating or, or going with somebody that your partner doesn't know. Um, especially with this today's technology, you can do a lot. But in the end of the day, you started something. That relationship meant something to you. And try to work it out. Because if you can work out that, you can go with anybody and that other relationship is gonna turn just the way this one did. And all you're doing is repeating your behavior and doing the same thing and end up alone. So it's very important to learn about the person you're with and don't give up. If something goes wrong, sit down and talk about it. Ask for help, uh, find a marriage therapist or for, find, talk to a family and friend and get help. And more importantly, talk to the person that you with and don't talk by fighting and by arguing all the time. Just take some time alone and sit down. And if you're not in the mood to talk and if you're upset over something, whatever the case may be, whatever happened, calm yourself down, take a couple of days and then go back and relook at the whole situation. But don't just give up. Because in today's society, people getting divorced right and left. People breaking up right and left. People are separating. And it's just becoming so easy. They're getting married, they're getting divorced. They're going out, they're breaking up. They was together and now they're separated seeing other people. But how do you think that the other relationship is gonna go? Do you think your other relationship, just because you've met a new person, is gonna be wonderful? No, because after a while, you're gonna behave the same way and that relationship is gonna turn like this one. So if you can't fix this one, you cannot be going with that mentality to the next relationship. So don't give up too easily. Too easily, because people, today's society, give up relationship way, way too easily. They get divorced very quickly and they go find out with other people thinking that they're gonna find their soulmate or they're gonna find a better person than the person that did divorce that's not gonna happen in order to do that you have to change yourself you have to know what went wrong and that's why your relationship is not working or your relationship is not in a place that you want it to be so don't give up too easily on your relationship rethink it again before you get divorced rethink it again before you break up rethink it again before you get separated because it's important and number four, keep your relationship exciting. Keep it spontaneous, keep it fresh. Always, always, always. Because that's what relationship. See, relationship means you're with a person that you love. It's two body, one soul. So if that means something to you, it becomes part of your responsibility to take time, to understand the person that is with you, to learn about them, to keep your relationship spontaneous. And again, I emphasize on this a lot because a lot of people, oh, when they're together for a long time, for four years, five years, six years, the relationship goes down the hell. Why? Because they're not keeping it fresh. They're not doing things that they're supposed to do together. They're going doing those things that are spontaneous with their friends and families or with other people, but they're not doing it with the person that they're in love and they fall in love in the first place and got married or the person that they're in a relationship with. So try to understand that. Try to understand that your relationship is not working because you're doing the same thing over and over and over and it becomes boring. Relationship becomes boring. When that happens, two things can happen. Either you guys are pretending to be together happy because of something, because of the kids, because of the money, because of the tax, because of the house, or because of something. You're always making an excuse. You're together with that person, but you're really not happy. You're really not yourself. You're really not enjoying being in a relationship with that person you are. Or you guys are gonna be together, but separately you will go see somebody else. And that's how cheating happens. Because you can separate, you can get divorced, so you go find that excitement, that joy, that freedom from somebody else. So to have 
to eliminate all of that, to have a good relationship, it's very important to pay attention to your relationship and the person that you're with. And that can change a lot, especially if you're in a relationship for a while. You have to rethink that. You have to reinvent yourself. You have to do other stuff. Don't do the same thing over and over and over again. Your partner might not going to tell you, but they think about it. Because when they go out there, see other people, because every we change every single day. They see the other people, they see their friends, they see their family, and they're like, well, I wish I could have had that. I wish I looked like that. I wish I would do that. I wish my husband would do this. I wish my partner would do this. And that things, as a human, we think about stuff like that. So it's very important to keep your relationship exciting and fresh, and I don't care how long you guys been together. So these are the four tips that you have to apply in your relationship and guarantee it will better your relationship. So let's go through this all again because I talk a lot and sometimes my word can get messed up, uh, but in the end, the result is the same. Number one, get respect from each other. Always, always speak to each other with respect. It's very, very important. Speak to each other with respect, with a clear communication. Number two, be into the details. Learn about your partners. Go out of your way to learn about your partners. Make your partner the first priority in your life. So that will show love, caring, and respect what your partner will feel and that's make a relationship so much better. Better. Number three, don't give up. Don't give up too easily. If you think that your relationship is going down to hell, if you think your relationship is not working, if you think that the person that you love is hard to get, think again. There's a billion things that you can do to make that fix, but there's not one thing to leave. So make sure that you work on it and don't give up too easily. And number four, and finally, keep your relationship exciting. Keep it spontaneous. Keep it fresh, fresh, fresh. Go with the thing and do something different. Take time. Take your partner out. Uh, surprise them. Um, do the, this little thing matters. Call them in the middle of the day. Not fighting, not you know, uh, really complaining, not really whining, but call them and tell them something that you have not told them before. Uh, do something that you have not done before. And, and that's how your relationship will last long. So try these four tips. I guarantee it's gonna work. It works for a lot of people that I work with and I'm pretty sure it's gonna work for you. Good luck with everything and I would love to hear you using these four tips and how you better your relationship. So write uh, for me uh, if you have any question, leave your question below, leave a comment below. I promise I will read it. And uh, again, just to remind you guys, every Wednesday at 3 Eastern time, I, I am going to be um, on the Facebook uh, group, relationship group live. So you guys can uh, log into that and ask me a question and I will give you guys an answer on that one as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to my channel and good luck with your relationship. And I hope these four tips help you guys. Till next time, have a wonderful day.